So today I'll be making a Balinese raw sambal or we also call this sambal mata Bali. It's quite a popular salad in Bali. So I'll be using two fresh red chilies, about six chili padi. If you want it less spicy, what you can do is remove part of the seeds. About 10 to 12 shallots, three to four kaffir lime leaves, I'm using calamansi lime, I'm having two here, or else you can replace it with ordinary half lime. A small block of shrimp paste that has been lightly toasted over open fire. Two inner white part of the lemongrass and two cloves of garlic. I'm using coconut oil. Uh, if you do not want to use coconut oil, you may just use ordinary cooking oil. But preferably, cooking oil would be nicer. A little salt as well as about one teaspoon of sugar. So now I'm going to slice the shallots as well as chop the red chilli, chilli padi, as well as the garlic and uh, lemongrass. So I will show it to you shortly. So here it is, I have sliced the shallots as well as chopped the chilies and julian the kaffir lime leaf, garlic and uh, lemongrass has also been chopped finely. So here I'm using about 2 calamansi lime, if you want more you may and for the shrimp paste I've lightly toasted it over open fire as I said earlier. So uh, for this particular salad. Uh, there's two ways to use the coconut oil. You can either use the raw oil or for some people they like to heat it up a little bit and pour it over. As for me, I'm not going to heat up the oil. I'm just going to use it like that. So now what we're going to do is just get a bowl and make sure that you're using a glove. It would be good to use your hand to mix it so it blends well. First, I'm going to add in the shrimp paste. So even if you have shrimp powder, like blachan powder, you may use it. So since I'm using the block, so I just need to break them into small bits like this. And what I'll do now is I'll squeeze the lime juice. So here, I'm going to squeeze both the calamansi lime. And as I said, more or less, you can decide how many lime needs to go in or how many uh, chilies have to go in. Eh? It's all to your own preference. Let me squeeze first. Make sure there are no seeds in it. I'm going to use a spoon now and mix it well so that it has been dissolved with the 
lime juice. Now I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients. Lemon grass, chili, garlic, salt now, not too much since there's a shrimp block inside. Blachan itself is a bit salty. Now I'm going to add in the shallots and the coffee lime leaves, which has been julienned thinly. This is best eaten with any grilled food, seafood, fried fish, eat it with rice, it's awesome, it's already smelling so good, so if you want it less spicy, you can add less chili padi, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the calamansi lime, and since it's quite small, I would like to add about 3. Sugar goes in now. It's about one teaspoon. This can last for a week in the fridge. So what you can do is put it in an airtight bottle and leave it in the fridge. Consume within five to seven days. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the oil using coconut oil. So more or less about three to four tablespoons should be good enough. As I said, you can also heat up the oil and pour it over. of the coconut oil as well and it's done the beautiful Balinese raw sambal or we call this sambal mata Bali <laughs>